pretty much. I was like, really? That is that what we're doing? You know, um, Nico's a real, he's special. Yeah, I, um, after I found out that he was indeed married, him and I parted ways. I, you know, broke up with him and I hadn't talked to him. I actually had him blocked on my phone. Maybe a month before we started taping, he shows up at my house like, Nothing really ever happened and was wondering what we were going to do for next season. And I'm looking at him real perplexed, like, excuse me, what? And next thing I know, his wife is on the show. So, it's a dirty game. <laughs> there is no status. I don't talk to him. I don't deal with him. I don't communicate with him. He can't call me. I blocked him. I don't, there is no relationship. The only time I have seen him is when I had to film with him. And that was it. So there's, there's zero status. He had nothing else to talk about, so we had to make that up for his storyline for this season. What else were they gonna talk about? So, you know, they had to pick something that was relevant and something, you know, I get it, I get it. I didn't wanna deal with him, so he had to create a situation. And that's exactly what he did, created a situation. It was high selling and it was also the most pirated, which is disturbing. Um, but yeah, the tape, I get paid from the tape quarterly. Um, I'll get paid from this tape for the rest of my life. It's a deal that, that I worked out. So straight in the bank. <laughs> and they're just helping the sales by talking about it. So again, thank you, Margo. That's so interesting that you say that, but like, this was the first time I had ever, ever done a, a sex tape, ever. I hadn't even done a tape with Stevie. Um, so I'm not this big, you know, porn watcher or anything like that. You know, it was kind of interesting how this thing came to me. He would, Nico would always tell me what we did. Our love making was like art. We should document it and all this BS, you know. But I never looked at it like I was turning people on to porn. I just, just what we did. Like we had a really good, interesting sex life. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't a plan or, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it was just completely spontaneous. And the whole shower thing, I was just hot and sweaty and wanted to take a shower. It's that simple. I was like, let's take a shower. And it just went from there, so. Oh my God, the sky's the limit. <laughs> I, I want to just get back to me and focus on, you know, Mimi and getting myself in order and, you know, my business in order and my business affairs in order. Like, I've always had my cleaning company and that's been my baby for 13 years. I was doing that even way before I even thought about or it was even on television. So I still have that business. Um, the management company is taking off. I'm working on that, getting that situated. Um, I'm starting a home decor line. I have a blog coming out. I'm super busy. I'm busier than I've ever been ever in life right now. <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff on the table.